Welcome to Sholin Farms, as I always say. Um, a little piece of heaven right here in Lemonster. We saved this from development 20 years ago, and it is now still thriving and doing a great job, and we are sustainable. We use sustainable agricultural practices, and we welcome visitors. It's a different kind of farm because it's owned by the city and run by the Friends of Sholin Farms. So I represent the Friends of Sholin Farms, and I'm the president of the organization. And my main thrust here or information that I want to share is that it is the people's farm. It requires attention from everybody in the whole city. And that means if you can volunteer, that's great because we really need volunteers. If you can sponsor us, that would be great. Last year was a tough year with COVID being able to do our fundraising, we weren't able to, so we're doing different things online to try and raise uh, awareness and to raise money to keep the farm running. We also, um, last year we had an unusual season because of COVID. We had less customers, we had new customers, so we're hoping that that will continue. We had to cancel the Apple Blossom Festival for the second year in a row, which is a big fundraiser for us. So we're kind of disappointed in that, but right now is the peak of the apple blossoms. So if anybody's interested in coming and viewing the apple blossoms for the next week or so, you'll still be able to see them. They're absolutely spectacular. It's the most magical time of the year for me because then all of a sudden you'll see little apples forming. So it's pretty exciting to see the bees here doing their job. As far as what we're doing new this year, we've got a whole bunch of practices that we're implementing. We're, we're starting up new fields for the pumpkins. So we're tilling and uh, reinforcing the soils. So that's what we're working on right now. And then if anybody drives by the farm, they'll notice that just coming up on the uh, south, nope, that would be the north side of the farm on the right-hand side of the road is a big field that used to be all apple trees. And people keep asking us, what are we doing with it? Well, we've got a huge plan underway to build a new orchard in there. And there'll be roughly 800 trees. And we're using, um, guidance from UMass and guidance from our, our people that uh, support us to first reinforce the soils with compost, which we've done already, and then till it and then take out the rocks. And then by April of next year, we should be planting all these new varieties such as Evercrisp and Sweet Maya and early varieties that people want to come you pick because most of our you pick is the Marshall Mac. So right next to it, you'll have six more varieties of wonderful apples in the beginning of the season. And we're planting 800 trees in an acre, and it will be in production within two years. That's very exciting. So we're raising money to, to support that, so if anybody's interested in helping out in that way. As far as volunteering, I head up the pruning team on Saturdays, and pretty much every Saturday of the year I'm here. So 52 weeks out of the year I'm here on Saturdays. And I've been doing that for many, many years. So this year has been challenging trying to get people here, but I have some young people that have been fabulous who have showed up every Saturday to do the pruning. So we've gotten the pruning done, so we finished last Saturday, and now we're into planting raspberries, pruning blueberries. There's all kinds of work to be done here. We have, um, as you can imagine, a farm this size. We are 167 acres, and we have plenty of hiking and trails and really well marked. It's the people's farm. We encourage people to come, lay out a blanket, have a picnic, go for a hike, and use the farm and be respectful of it. The volunteer work that gets done here is amazing. Uh, between mowing and pruning and uh, everything that needs to get done, fundraising, organizing, and then running the farm stand. We'll be opening in July for raspberries and blueberries and peaches, and those are all crops that we've added in the last 20 years, and it's been absolutely exciting. So I love to see the families come. I love to hear the kids laughing in the, in the orchard. It's spectacular. I ask people to be mindful from now until June, the end of June possibly. In July, we, we do have days when we have to spray. Apples are a very finicky crop. They have to be taken care of. So we use integrated pest management. We work with UMass and we follow their guidance on what chemicals need to be put down, whether they be in very few insecticides, but a lot of fungicide when it comes to apples. We've had a lot of rain this spring and that really makes it challenging for any farmer. So those are basically the key points is that we're looking for volunteers, we're looking for sponsorship, we're excited that we're in our 20th year, actually going into our 21st year 
and it's, it's just been amazing. I, I'd like to list all the volunteers and the sponsors, but it would be, there would be too many. If you look at this gazebo we're standing in right here, um, North Star Roofing did the roof last year, and Ralph Sacramone restored this entire gazebo, which I think he did an amazing job. It's a 50-year-old structure, and he had to replace many of the boards and everything. But that's a volunteer project, and he enjoyed it, and we're going we're gonna to make sure he comes back again. And then other volunteer stuff, if, if somebody sees something that needs to be done, we have somebody that just picks up trash on all the trails. You wouldn't think that that would be necessary, but it is. So he comes up, and he, he, that's his dedication. We have other volunteers that do fundraising, other volunteers that do stuffing envelopes, other volunteers that maintain our Facebook page, and also maintain our, um, our website. But we're always looking for new ideas, and we have some very cool festival ideas coming up in the fall. We have uh, a partnership that's just been announced and hasn't even got hit the paper yet, is that we have a museum coming on Labor Day weekend. So it's an Apple Museum and it's the first of its kind. So we're really excited to have that coming and that's gonna be a big festival. And then we'll have craft festivals and we'll have a big festival in, on Columbus Day. But starting all in July, it's you pick raspberries, blueberries, peaches, and then apples in August and on and on it goes. We will be having a volunteer and membership appreciation and that will be in the third week in August. We'll be announcing that pretty soon. So I really wanna thank you for, for your attention and you can get all this information off of our website which is sholenfarms.com. If you wanna call us, we're at 978-840-FARM. That's 978-840-3276 or you can check out our Facebook page. We update everything on a regular basis. You can leave a message or you can contact me directly at 978-870-5555. I'm really excited about the coming season. I think we have a terrific crop. You can see that the flowers, the blossoms are out, and the bees have been here for two weeks now. So very, very exciting time. Thank you. And my name is Joanne Donato. <laughs>